Um, at this time, and Ron is absolutely right, it's an honor to have Wayne Chase here. Uh, I owe a lot of what I do today to this man. And he was a very big inspiration to me. Uh, so I would like to invite Wayne to say a few words. nice to hear these compliments and as I look around at the names on the wall I remember all these folks I remember being at news events they were all there and it was great and then looking at Ron over here he was the new guy with us at the folks at that time and always so gentle quiet serious I know there's no beside him but however that's what we see and uh, Looking at the work he's done through the years, he's been fascinating. And Morris, of course, went back a long way in my career. And looking at what you're doing, which is in such different directions and different channels, it's fascinating what you do. And I'm very proud to have been associated with all you guys and the ones who are not here, obviously. It's, like I said, it's, a, it's kind of a unique thing to be here because it was exactly 45 years ago this month that I came to Moncton and our studio was opening on Main Street. Darby Studios at the time, I was managing their studio, and I kind of look at the whole career in the 45 years, I could liken it to walking through what I would call a big mansion. And that first room I walked into was getting established in Moncton, building up a beautiful clientele, getting awards, and the whole field was exciting and great. And as I walked over to the next room, was more specialized work that I started to get into a little later on in years. And it was in that area where I met my wife Joan, and she became inspiring to me and my biggest and best critic. And as we moved through that room, then she became to play a more active role that was connected to her. She had her own career in, uh, I call it public speaking, but she was a uh, uh, a keynote speaker across the country for many organizations, big and national, what have you. And here we were. She was doing her thing. I was doing mine. It was like being in that third room of the mansion, going nonstop all the time. Uh, we had a very unusual mix of businesses because we had her career. She opened a clothing boutique. We had a modeling agency going, all the time with photography and what have you. As we moved on to the next room, I sort of played back a little bit. She became more of the front name that people recognized in the paper and what have you. But I was still there with my trusty clientele, doing what I could do. And as I look here tonight, I see people that have sort of walked the whole curve. I got my friend Bill over here that goes way back to the early years when we were, oh, well, I won't even go. But Bill's been along for a long time, and, and I'm happy to say he's my friend. And as we move through the next room of this mansion, uh, there was great things happening. I was fortunate enough to do one of the very first official portraitures of a portraits of uh, Brian, Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. And the clientele was being more diversified and interesting. But as I say, the clock was ticking and I felt it was time to come to the end of the career. So I semi-retired and became chef. Now there's a <laughs> so for the past 10 years, we've had a little bistro up in St. George uh, Boulevard, and it's been nice, but now we decided because we're coming to what we say the final end of our journey, and still want to do stuff, so we looked at it all and we said, what, how do we want to settle down? And I decided I wanted to go back to the arts where I could do photography, fine art. Joan became part of the player with us where she details, works with the makeup, so on, that we create these new custom products in photography. So as I'm here on this wall of fame tonight, I'm also restarting a very specialized career in photography. So you might say in the mansion, I've walked through the different rooms, the different fields, and finally I'm at the back door where I'm going to step out and sort of end the whole career one day doing things we love the most. And I thank you so much for being here, and I'm Morris, I'm just honored to be part of this. It's always a special thing when I can come down here anytime in the future right. and say, look at that. You know, I did make a mark somewhere like the other folks did. And uh, I always make a joke about it saying, no, I don't have to buy this one. So anyway, <laughs> thank you very much. And it's been a pleasure being in Moncton in all this career for all these years.
Thank you. Before we wrap it up, uh, there's one person.